Tarrant County Sheriff now says the blood alcohol level of a 16-year-old driver involved in a deadly chain reaction accident was three times the legal limit. But the boy has not been arrested, even though the slew of anticipated charges were listed on the accident report, including four counts of intoxication manslaughter. Fox Force Phil Alvarado joins us from Burleson with more on this deadly crash. Phil. Well, Natalie, the Tarrant County Sheriff today released his report on the cause of that accident. And what he tells us is that there was a tremendous amount of alcohol involved. Uh, he says that uh, the teenagers in that truck that he says caused the crash apparently drove around that night looking to buy alcohol. And when they couldn't, they came to this Walmart and stole beer. And again, the sheriff says that that teenage driver of the truck has not been arrested. The results from the accident investigation are stunning. Tarrant County Sheriff D. Anderson says the 16-year-old driver of the red Ford pickup that hit and killed four people was drunk. Came back with a blood alcohol content of 0.24, three times the legal limit in Texas. The sheriff says the night of the crash, they used a warrant to take a blood alcohol test from the driver, Ethan Anthony Couch, seen here on Facebook. Anderson says the Ford truck was carrying eight teenagers, including two in the pickup bed. The sheriff says they know where the teens got some of the alcohol that night had gone to a convenience store to try to buy alcohol and were turned down. Investigators believe the teens in the Ford truck then drove to the Walmart in Burleson where they stole beer. We subsequently went to the Walmart in Burleson and found a surveillance video of people from the truck going in and stealing two cases of beer. The sheriff believes at least some of the teens in the Ford truck had alcohol before the beer theft. That They were drinking earlier and they probably were either short or running out and went to restock. That's my belief when they made the Walmart run, because it's just a little more than an hour from the time they were at Walmart till the time the crash occurred. So they couldn't have gotten that intoxicated in an hour, is my belief. Investigators also found the Ford truck had reached a speed of 68 to 70 miles per hour in only a quarter of a mile when it crashed on a two-lane county road. Anderson says the Ford truck clipped a disabled SUV on the side of the road. It belonged to 24-year-old Brianna Mitchell. Youth pastor, 41-year-old Brian Jennings, had stopped to help. 52-year-old Holly Boyles and her 21-year-old daughter, Shelby Boyles, seen here on Facebook, had come out of their home to help. All four were struck and killed. The Tarrant County DA says he can't talk about his part of the investigation, saying he can't speculate on when and what charges will be filed. The TABC is also investigating where the teens got alcohol before the stolen cases of beer. And so for the district attorney's uh, part in this, apparently there will be charges filed. It's just a matter of when and what those charges will be. The sheriff says that the teens had uh, left a house about a quarter mile from the accident scene when the crash occurred. Steve? All right, Phil, when, the, when there's a situation like this and the, the people who are suspected of drinking and driving leave a business or, or a bar, there's usually ramifications. Let's talk about that house you just mentioned. Do we know who was in charge? Were there adults there? Uh, when all this was happening? Well, uh, according to the sheriff, he says that there was no adult supervision. There was nobody there, no adults. Apparently, he says that they believe that the house belongs to the family of one of the teens that was in the truck. Uh, but as far as they can tell, nobody lives at that house. Okay. All right. Phil Alvarado, live. Thank you.